Hello everyone, welcome back to Alkaline Hydroxide 784. So, this is the second series of this channel, which is called GP Strategy Series. And uh, this is the introduction, and which will tell you more about why this series came to existence and uh, a general idea of what will be covered here. So, the first question everyone wants to know, why? Why are you doing this? I also want to ask myself that, but okay. So the first series that I did, which is, which I mean, I'm still doing it, the the, the chemistry practical one, it it is pretty useful, but it covers a quite quite a small audience, I think. Not everyone does H2 chemistry, right? But I'm pretty sure a lot more people do GP than they do chemistry. So I thought maybe, you know, GP would reach more people. And um, also, I was, you know, I was going to Reddit as usual and soliciting advice to people as usual. And one of the posts was about uh, GP advice, and I thought, okay, why not I give my opinion in a video instead of just typing it out for one person and forgetting all about it. <laughs> you know, more people can watch it, and they can watch it like many, many times easily because I'm pretty sure this. Like accessing one channel is easier than searching through that huge thread in Reddit. So, yeah, I, I guess this is the inspiration for the series. And um, now, so second, I would like to tell you my opinion on GP, which will underlie this entire series. And um, it is usually the trend that, you know, for... For GP, you get lower distinction rates in A-levels. Even in my... In RI, it, you know, the distinction rate for GP was around 50 to 60 percent. Unlike for maths or science, it would be 70 or 80 percent. So, in general, GP is a bit more unpredictable, you know. <laughs> and um, basically, for in my opinion, GP is all about that one day, that one exam that you do, even more so than what you've done before that. If you screw it up on that one day, you know, your your grades will not be good. So, yeah, even for me, my GP grades in in school were quite different from what I got in the A-levels because in, J, in JC1, my very first exam, I got a C in GP and then after that, I got Bs and then in promos, I got an E. <laughs> but that was because of the fact that the examiner didn't like my essay or and my I probably screwed up my essay anyway so yeah that that can really influence your grades a lot so in GP unlike other subjects I feel all that at least less in terms of compared to other subjects strategies matter more than studying for once really oh my gosh yes you're right of course um yeah, this this is this could be an unpopular opinion or it may be a actual opinion. I don't know, but um, in GP sometimes even if you study a lot and but you use the wrong strategies, you may not do well in the exam, or if you don't study that much in general, but you just you only study near the exam, and you use the right strategies and you do it properly. You, you may score well even if you don't read newspapers all that much or you know that the general you get the idea <laughs> so the um, so this entire series will teach you the strategies instead of how to study for GP because I mean in school you already learn how to do well in GP and the skills you need for GP this this will be more like um like you know, it will give you advice on how to use what you learned in school and do well in GP using those, you know, what your teacher says and what you know for yourself. And finally, the last question, do I have credibility to do this? Well, uh, this is online, this is YouTube. You, you can decide for yourself whether I have the credibility. I mean, uh, getting an A in A-levels doesn't necessarily make me the most credible person. <laughs> I might have just been lucky during the A-levels for all that I know. So, yeah, that's that's for you to decide. But 
I will try my best to give you um, advice that is generally useful and um, yeah I hope it will benefit a lot of people so yeah so what will be covered in this series that's the most important thing as of now I'm thinking of um, doing it in the order of before the exam during the exam and after the exam so um, I'm not sure whether each of them will take up exactly one episode because some parts require more stuff than other parts and if it's too long I may break it up and after everything is done I will have a Q&A because I realized that for the chemistry one no one asked no one commented anything so I think for this one I'll just collect all the Q&A's if there are any to begin with and do them at the end yeah, so um, if you have any other suggestions for what you want me to cover or, you know, any other suggestions for new series, but you had to wait for, the, for them, this, this will also probably take a, at least a week or so before I send, you know, before I put up the first part of the series because I haven't finished the chemistry one yet and I don't have that much time in a sense. I mean, I do have a a lot of free time. I'm not doing any. I'm not. I'm not in school now or something. But I'm still. I still have my own stuff to do. <laughs> so yeah, just be patient with me. But if you have anything that you want to see, you can comment it below in this video, because uh, until now there have been no comments in any of the videos, and that is pretty sad. But okay. But um, if you. If you're really excited for this series, uh, please please press subscribe and um, you know look forward to it maybe next week. Hopefully it'll be out by then. Okay, thank you. Bye.